Ferguson. sound like a tiny little damp basement. <laughs> You're probably wa wondering why I called you here this evening. Someone in this room is a murderer. <laughs> Do you believe this? I mean, I'm trying to be professional. We're trying to run a top-notch show. Top-notch television entertainment. And what do we get? Crap! Did you say someone in here was a murderer? <laughs> yes. It's a great day for America, everybody. Yes. Yes. Although... Although... It is, a, it is a, a tough day for America's sweetheart, Rick Santorum, who uh, suspended his presidential campaign today. He didn't give a reason, but I know why. Tonight is the season premiere of Glee. <laughs> ah. Yes. You know he loves Glee. <laughs> Greg, Greg, don't be absurd. How do you know that Rick Santorum loves Glee? Do we have a picture of Rick Santorum? That guy loves Glee. <laughs> that guy loves Glee. Look, look. You know what that says? It's musical theater! <laughs> Do you know what? This is true. This is, I, when I read this today, I was like, what? There's a new study out today that says, <laughs> I'm not making this up, that it costs about $2,500 a year to, and I quote, properly maintain and care for a vagina. <laughs> I, I think it's a, I think it's more than that. In my experience, that's a lot. It's a lot more than that. Already, it's been thrown into the political system. Though the Democrats say this is because of the damage to the economy caused by Bush. <laughs> See what I did? All right. Now. It's a very, a very tense day in the rest of the world. In North Korea, they're getting ready to launch a new type of missile. Great. <laughs> In Iran, the officials say they've finally perfected the nuclear weapons technology. That's fantastic news as well. Uh, <laughs> but these are nothing compared to what American spy satellites just discovered in England. Take a look at this. Hot dogs <laughs> stuffed into the crust of pizzas! Hot dogs in the crust of pizzas! We're through the looking glass here, people! <laughs> We're not going back because after a slice of hot dog in your, your pizza, you, you're never going to get through again. Look, look, look at that again. Look at that. With free mustard drizzle. <laughs> that was mustard drizzle. I think, I think mustard drizzle was a country singer that was on the show last month. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, old mustard drizzle. I put a hot dog in my pizza. <laughs> And by that, I mean I had sex with a pizza. <laughs> pizza rhymes with pizza, doesn't it? <laughs> Hot dog pizza. Now, this raises two important questions. One, who came up with this monstrosity? And B, how quickly can it be delivered to my house? <laughs> of course, the real question is why the hot dog crust pizzas are only available in England. I mean, Americans should be mad about this. The, the hot dog originated in St. Louis, and pizza is from Italy. You know, the Italians are mad. They're like, what's a coming a go? <laughs> Keep your wiener away from my pizza. <laughs> and I... And... <laughs> hey. Also, I don't want any hot dogs near my food. <laughs> 
You know why they test it out in British people? Because they, uh, you know, because it sounds classier. Everything is classier in Britain. It's, there's a hot dog stuffed in my pizza. <laughs> there's a hot dog in my pizza. It's lovely. It's a sort of little, a sort of little piggy snack. It's sort of like Downton Abbey, isn't it, Jeff? No, oh, yes, quite terribly. I, I said, I say, would you mind if I had a hot dog in my pizza? No, I wouldn't mind a little sausage in my bread, certainly. <laughs> I know you enjoy a little bit of meat in your pastry, don't you? And also in my pants. Yeah. I don't think it's a coincidence that Rick Santorum dropped out the day that we found out about hot dog pizzas. I think seeing this abomination, Santorum realised that humanity has veered so far off the path of moral righteousness. He's like, yeah. <laughs> or, or worse to that effect. Also, he probably said, he also probably said, Please on tonight. <laughs> I'm just glad they make the hot dog really obvious in the ads. I mean, imagine if you bit into a pizza not expecting a hot dog inside. If it's just a surprise sausage. It's maybe not that bad, you know. Sometimes finding a wiener where you didn't expect one can come as a pleasant surprise. I'm sorry, but hot dogs and pizza don't go together. It's like, it's like Rush Limbaugh and skinny jeans. It just shouldn't happen. It's, uh, it's like, uh, it's like, Jeff, things that don't belong together. It's like uh, monogamy and a Kardashian. Yes, exactly, yes. It's like, uh, it's like, uh, it's like a, a dog show in Michael Vick. It's like, uh, it's like dancing and stars. No, no, dancing and stars goes together. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> oh, yeah, the hot dog pizza. You know what's going to happen after the hot dog pizza? This is going to start some kind of fast food arms race. It's already begun. It, this is true. A, a fast food restaurant in Nashville are test, test running a bacon sundae. Yes. Thank you, judgmental lesbians. <laughs> Oh. Oh, no. $2,500? No, they're trying out a bacon sundae. I'm not kidding. Look at that. Look, look. They've got the thing. Bacon sundae. Yeah, no. Oh, so joining in with the lesbians now, everyone. Well, I don't know. I mean, who doesn't want a little gristle in their fudge? Why are they going to woo so much tonight? What? I have no idea. I have no idea either. Mm. Yes, I do. <laughs> I don't know. Would you like the, uh, would you want the, uh, the, the sausage pizza thing? Would you eat it? Yeah. And do you agree with that price for the proper maintenance of a vagina? I don't get near those things. <laughs> Jeff? Jeff, I have to say, for slightly different reasons, neither do I. <laughs> You're awesome, man. Yeah. <laughs> Did you want to do the sure. thing? Yeah, yeah. Tonight's program is brought to you by Mustard Drizzle and the Condiment Cowboys' new album, In a Real Pickle. <laughs>